Today in the news, six people face charges arising from a protest at the Texas Capitol. Austin police look to the public for help in Austin shootings and the city of Dallas's hospital capacity report. Today is August 3rd, 2020, and this is Dallas Weekly News. Hello, I'm your host, Patrick Washington, and this is Dallas Weekly News. Six people have been arrested on a variety of charges as the state's crackdown on protesters at the Texas Capitol continued. The six were arrested over the past two weeks on charges arising from actions alleged to have occurred during demonstrations on May 30th through the 31st against police brutality against black and Hispanic persons, the Texas Department of Public Safety said Friday. All have been released on bond. Gabriel Brett Krug, age 22, of Temple, and Jordan Chance Teal, age 18, of Austin, were charged with felonies. Krug was charged with felony criminal mischief and misdemeanor riot after he was accused of damaging state property at the Capitol and the governor's mansion. Teal was charged with felony assault on a public servant in the injuring of a state trooper. Messages to their attorneys were not immediately returned. Meantime, Syed Imran Ali, age 24, of Spring, Cassidy Julia Nordstrom, age 26, and Nakia Cash Hunt, age 25, both of Austin, and Brian Berserill, age 17, of Pflugerville, face assorted misdemeanor charges, such as riot and criminal mischief. A message to the Barcelli's attorney was not immediately returned, while court records list no attorneys for Ali, Nordstrom, or Hunt. Following the May 30th protest, Republican Governor Greg Abbott called in the National Guard to help guard the Capitol and reinforce state and local law enforcement officers. Homicide detectives at the Austin Police Department are asking for the public's help investigating a Saturday night shooting at an Austin protest that left one man dead, according to a statement Thursday. Austin officials are encouraging anyone with relevant information, including original video footage or images, to come forward. Officials said detectives have contacted nearby businesses with visible cameras and reviewed their footage, along with video and images provided by witnesses. Austin police said a suspect has not been identified in the ongoing investigation. Garrett Foster died after being shot at a Black Lives Matter protest on Saturday. Police said that according to, a, according to witnesses, a disturbance began when a vehicle started honking at protesters. The vehicle stopped as protesters crossed the roadway and Foster, who was holding an AK-47 type assault rifle, approached the driver's side window. He was shot from the inside of the vehicle. A subject called 911 and stated, that, stated they had been involved in a shooting and driven away from the scene. The caller stated they had, not, they had shot someone who had approached the driver's side window with a rifle. Officers located and brought the caller to the homicide office to be interviewed. We'd like to acknowledge our sponsor, Latanya Bias, author of Lupus Chose Me, a new book for more than 30 years. Author Latanya Bias has experienced the ups and downs of the autoimmune disease, lupus. Her new book is available now. the City of Dallas's Hospital Capacity Report. This has been Dallas Weekly News. I'm your host, Patrick Washington. You can find these and more stories on dallasweekly.com. And of course, follow us on social media on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. And if you can, please stay home, stay safe, and we will see you again tomorrow.